Alrighty, we're gonna have Mr. Mystery Sonic. Or uh, no, Mr. Mystery's DDD, pardon me. Three, against Jin two, Sonic. One, go! You start this game out on FD. Uh, this is honestly, it seems like a pretty good Sonic stage. I don't know how DDD fares on it, but Mr. Mystery going for the early. Oh, wow, he went for that early kill with the, the neutral B, but unfortunately, wasn't able to take the stock off and actually died himself, so Jin. Not even 30 seconds to the match, already has a stock lead. Let's see how they fare from here. That's kind of unfortunate, you know? I mean, I guess, you know, good stuff to Jin, keeping all of their resources there, because a lot of people panic, or even worse, like, there's nothing worse than whenever you panic and you mash an air dodge out. That's kind of always unfortunate, but... So Jin gonna have an early lead here, let's see if they're able to capitalize on it. What about Mr. Mystery offstage? Has to recover high. Gonna get punished for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> I mean, Jin has solid control over the match off of just kind of one arrow. As Mr. Mystery, unable to get the tech there, able to make it back to stage. Jin has them here in the corner. Tried to punish the high recovery there. Mr. Mystery sitting at 142%. Attack. Not gonna kill, because that move does not kill for the longest time. Unless you have Underdog boost on, but F Smash will. So Jin, just like that now, three, up three stocks to one. Up throw to up air. Jin starting to juggle Mr. Mystery here, already putting on 49%, and gets the parry. And just like that, good lord. Jin is just moving with all the momentum in this game. Tries to read a potential air dodge with that F-Smash, not going to be able to get it. Good tomahawk grab there. But, oh yeah. <laughs> Good job by Mr. Mystery going high there to get the spike, take the first stock, but once again, not going to tech the spring. Able to make it back, sitting at 160. Jin goes deep, looks for the edge guard. Not going to get the kill just yet. Yeah, Mr. Mystery once again looking for that, that neutral D, the inhale. But gonna get gimped by the spring, unfortunately. So Jin will take game one. Very explosive. You know, partially due to, you know, the, uh... The S... I, yeah, I guess it's an SD. It feels kind of more like a throwaway stock, you know? Like, Mr. Mystery, look, you know, try to, you know, risk it all. Sometimes you gotta go big or go home, and unfortunately just didn't really work out there. Looks like we're gonna go right into game two here. Honestly, I wonder if they switched stages. I feel like maybe they didn't. Oh, no, we did. We're gonna be on PS2 this time. Okay, so PS2. Still Sonic DDD. Not really sure how much you can take away from that last game if you're Mr. Mystery. Because it felt like once Mr. Mystery lost that first stock, Jim just kind of ran away with it. And... I mean, I guess part part of that is, you know, funny enough, because Sonic is just really fast, too. Some momentum definitely helps as Jin tries to read a potential jump there with the uh, Rising Fair. Not able to get it just yet, but Mr. Mystery sitting at 83%. Yeah. Jin playing fairly aggressively, too, which is a nice change of pace. Uh, usually you see Sonic mains, you know, they're kind of, you know, fairly passive. They can, because, you know, Sonic's a really fast character. It's not hard to play, not too hard to play keep away with him. Because a good, you know, majority of opponents can't catch him, but Mr. Mystery doing a very good job catching out uh, Jin right now out of all of these spin dashes with the Gordo. As he tries to go for the F-Smash there, unable to get it. Has to recover high, not going to get punished just yet, and oh, the parry! Man, you <laughs> you have to have no fear if you want to parry DDD F-Smash like that. That's such a good move. But Mr. Mystery was able to get the F-Smash afterwards, has the lead here. If he's able to, you know, take, do anything with it. Jin able to land that back here. He even set up a two stocks apiece. I know I'm definitely not used to commentating like 
aggressive Sonic matches. <laughs> Definitely a change of pace. As Mr. Mystery gets the inhale, does not get the Gimp again, but Jin with the uh, the lock on neutral is it? Homing attack, that's what it's called. It goes for the homing attack there, and it just didn't lock on. That could have potentially been, you know, the second stock there. And Mr. Mystery knows that eventually one of these inhales might work. It's like consistently keep going for it. Unable to have it, you know, successfully edge guards yet, or successfully gimp yet, I should say. The content with just kind of staying in this corner here. It's still an even game. Honestly, it's really like anyone's game right now. It really has like a commanding lead Jin. Starting to get the percent lead there. Tries to read a potential spot dodge by charging that smash attack. Unable to do it. Mr. Mystery tries to get a dash attack there. Mr. Mystery really going for like, you know, the, the haymakers. Unable to have it, you know, work so far. And Jin, honestly, I think Jin's doing a really good job at punishing these high recoveries. I don't know if it's just because of like a timing thing, but Mr. Mystery really hasn't been going to ledge a lot uh, these past couple of games. And Jin's recognized that, and now I like how they, they stall in the air, like how they did here to punish DDD for landing, because that move does have lag. It's covered by like the two little stars that come out, but if you, you know, land on top of him or wait afterwards, you can get a nice punish. Jin gonna keep Mr. Mystery in the corner here, already at 74%. Mr. Mystery, good jump from ledge, able to get back to center stage, and tries to go for the dash attack, unfortunately not gonna connect there. It's Jin once again, Mr. Mystery, I feel like he's been in the corner for most of this match. You know, part of it's been because Jin keeps putting him off stage with these throws and these forward airs and back airs, but also too, Mr. Mystery I, seem, I think seems to be okay with kind of camping in the corner. Which is kind of nice, but like, whenever you're losing like that, that's kind of the last thing you want to do, because you don't want to be, you know, being in the corner is inherently bad. <laughs> but maybe not for Mr. Mystery, as he gets the up smash there, and Jin immediately goes to the opposite platform. I don't know if we have an issue, or if Jin's just waiting. Let me check the Smash GG chat. No, no messages. Yeah, J okay, yep. Jin knows that's the win condition. Mr. Mystery is at 137%. There's three minutes left on the clock, so... <laughs> just like that, Jin gonna immediately uh, change up the pace of neutral and just not approach Mr. Mystery. Uh, <laughs> tried to go for the, <laughs> the up smash there. Unable to get it to connect. Yeah, this inhale not gonna work. Mr. Mystery just has been unable to tech these spring stage bikes. As Jin, that's honestly something, you know, I think that's really, you know, really smart too. Immediately changing up how fast they're playing neutral. Because I don't think Mr. Mystery was expecting for it to immediately slow down like that. So again, the high recovery, not going to get punished. Mr. Mystery re-grabs ledge and is going to eat the down smash as Jin takes game two here. Sitting one game away from moving on to winner's finals. We'll see if maybe Mr. Mystery switches uh, characters here. I don't know. I mean, whenever you're down 2-0, typically you see a switch, but nope. Oh, maybe that, was that Jen? I don't. I don't remember. But regardless, sticking with DDD, sticking with Sonic. As we go into game three here, this time going to be on Kalos. An interesting stage for sure. As you see, Mr. Mystery going to start things out here with the grab. I don't want to get too much off of it, but... I know Sonic mains do like Kalos because of that large space, but... We'll see. I, I'm i assuming DVD is cool with it, too, because... Whenever you're a big character on a stage like that, not only do you have room to breathe, uh, you also get to live for a really long time. You kind of have to overextend a lot off stage versus, you know, heavier characters on stages like Kalos to 
try and get the kill. As you see Jin able to get Mr. Mystery underneath that, uh, under the platform here. But, like, yeah, he, you know, there's still a solid, like, never mind. I was going to say a solid, like, 30% from dying, but Jin able to get the uh, spin dash into forward air. Fairly deep off stage and take that first stop. And, oh, tries to go for spin dash to, to nair, to dare, down air. My goodness, I didn't know if that was going to kill at first. I, yeah, probably not on DDD because of the whole, you know, multiple jumps thing, but. That high recovery going to send Mr. Mystery to that side platform here on Kalos. Jin just keeping Mr. Mystery in the corner, like I said. You know? And that's fine. Fine with Jin, because all they need to do is just keep them in the corner, keep ag you know, attacking on percent, and eventually be able to get the kill as Dash Attack puts Mr. M Mystery back off stage. Forward air almost sends him to the blast zone. He has to recover high right there. Barely able to make it back a ledge. Oh, okay. F Smash gonna connect. Mr. Mystery, not out of it yet. Forward air, though. Just gonna kill. I don't know, maybe that was... I don't know if that was, like, bad DI, because he kind of went straight out. I feel like forward air doesn't... Does it send you straight? Probably not, but... Jin, now up three stocks to one. And just tacking on the damage here, as you see. Mr. Mystery already at 83%. Jin going for the homing attack, and... Oh. Mr. Mystery too far away, so Jin gonna... Move right to the blast zone. There's Mr. Mystery, though, still in the corner, sitting at 121. I think they're out of resources? Yep. Is the homing attack gonna intercept that up B and Jin? Gonna be moving on to uh, winner's finals here.